Yeah, that's what you mentioned about uh, Jenny talking about the how to send people on to Mars. Could you sort of comment on because you know Starship issue done by space is very hot topic that intend to I think it's quite different way of landing on Mars as prepared by the JPL or NASA in general. So could you comment on that? Use rocket directly, yeah, okay. We're certainly very excited to see you know what happens every time and, and a lot of my former colleagues uh, work over there and have been working on that problem um but you know i think the the one big thing that's different about mars than than earth of course um, is that as far as i know there are no landing pads on mars right there are, there are no flat parking lots for us to land in. yeah so you know it, it, you're gonna have to be prepared to deal with the terrain there just like uh you know we we did a, a survey of the landing site that we were going to the most dangerous site we've ever been to on mars but found enough flat places, flat and uh, relatively rock-free places to land. That being said, they aren't landing pads. You can see where we landed. There are rocks underneath the ground where we landed, right that are buried in the ground. There are rocks nearby, 30, 40 meters away. We can see those rocks. And we blew all sorts of dust all over the place. Um, those are, uh, you know, having a landing pad like we have here in Bolsa Chica, uh, down in Texas, is a luxury uh, that we should not plan to have on Mars, at least not for some time. We probably can have some marsh in build it for us. <laughs> okay. That'd be convenient if they would get around to that, yeah. Hi, uh, Eric. How, how long do you think in your mind it's it going to take to get all these things done? I think it's possible that uh, we can return those samples in the early 2030s. Um, that the uh, yeah, the next the, the next couple of missions, the Earth return the Earth return orbiter and the uh, sample retrieval lander will happen in the second half of this decade, um, and I think that uh, yeah, we're on track to do this in the early 2030s. Uh, I just wonder because you're going to put a rocket there to prepare back. Uh, it's going to be a small rocket or big rocket in your mind? Yeah, I think we can do this with a, a few hundred kilo uh, uh, Mars ascent vehicle. That's what we call that rocket. We just need to get that that uh, sample into Mars orbit, and then we can pick it up with a Earth return orbiter that will likely be electric propulsion powered. Um, so we can take our time getting back, uh, but don't need a giant rocket to get off the uh, to get off the surface of Mars and bring it all the way to Earth. So, so basically, it's going to be an electrical propulsion uh, for for to send it back, sort of. Yeah. That's right. Once we get it up in the, in, from the surface of Mars, we'll, we'll need chemical propulsion to get it from the surface of Mars to Mars orbit. But we can use electric propulsion to bring it home from there. Actually, like speaking of Mars and, and like being involved in Mars exploration program for like more than a decade, do you personally think there is life on Mars or do you believe in like alien civilization <laughs> in the universe? <laughs> I think that's a tough question, of course, right? But I think what we do know from uh, about Mars is that Earth and Mars walked a very similar path in the early days of the solar system, right? That the uh, both Earth and Mars got around here around four and a half billion years or so ago, and Earth took, you know, life took hold here on Earth about three and a half to four billion years ago. And we already know from the work that we've done at Mars that Mars itself was habitable, right? That it had the building blocks of life in about that same time frame, about three and a half to four billion years ago. Um, so the question naturally that we're trying to ask is, uh, is there any evidence that life ever took hold uh, on Mars when the conditions were ripe for that? So that's the uh, that's the big question that we're trying to answer. Um, could life have taken hold at the same time that it took hold here on Earth on our nearest uh, our nearest neighbor in the universe?